In my previous video on Lion Follower Robot, I've shown how to make a fast Lion Follower using 6-channel IR sensor array. But many of you requested to make it with 5-channel IR sensor. So, in this video I'll show how to make it with 5-channel IR sensor array. Also I'll show how to make battery pack and how to recharge it. If you're new to this channel please subscribe and turn on the bell button to get the notification of new videos. We need a barrel board of 15 by 9 cm and 20 gear motor of 600 rpm and 20 wheels motor mount bracket L298 and motor driver 5 channel IR sensor array I've shown how to make it in this video please check this out 5 mm LED push button female header pin T connector 7805 regulator IC lithium ion cell First, I'm making the chassis of the robot using a 9 by 15 cm barrel board. then making the necessary holes for attaching components. I've connected the necessary wires with the motor driver and attaching motor driver in the barrel board. Attaching Arduino Nano in the barrel board.
connecting 5mm LED light and push button. LED with digital 15 pin and push button with digital pin 12. Then connecting T connector and switch. Making the connection between motor driver input, T connector, and switch according to the circuit diagram. Checking connection by providing power. Everything is fine. Now attaching 5 channel IR sensor array in the front of the robot. Attaching ball caster. Attaching N20 gear motors. I'm using a 7805 regulator IC to provide 5 volt input Arduino and IR sensor array. I've connected it according to the circuit diagram. Checking whether it provides 5 volt output or not. It's providing 5 volt output for Arduino and IR sensors. Now I can attach Arduino. Now connecting the IR sensor array pins with Arduino analog pins. Connected serially from right to left according to the circuit diagram. Now checking the sensor. It's working properly. Now attaching wheels. So everything is done.
Here I'm using 3.7 volt lithium ion cell. I'll make a 12 volt battery pack with a balanced port to re recharge it. Connect a 12 volt output line for discharging and a balanced port to recharge it. Let's see how to recharge it. Here I'm using an IMAX V6 balance charger. Connecting the port with the charger. Selecting lithium ion battery mode. Selecting balance mode. Selecting charging current 1.0 ampere. Selecting battery type 3S, 10.8 volt. Then long press the select button to activate charging. So, the charging is started. You can recharge it in an alternative way. Here is the connection diagram. Now coming in the coding part. First, it will read the status of the push button. If the button is pressed, the LED will blink and then the robot will start to follow line. Now uploading the code. Open the serial monitor and keep the robot in black surface. Note down the analog value. It's 1023 in my case. It's the maximum value. Then keep the robot in white surface. Note down the analog value. It's 39 in my case. It's the minimum value. Then calculate the threshold using maximum and minimum values. It's 531. Updating the value of the threshold and then uploading the updated code. Let's see the result. 